Tonight we are learning the quite honestly horrific details of the tragic murders of two toddlers in Mitchell. 33-year-old Brittany Bedina is accused of drowning her one-year-old daughter and three-year-old son. CBS4 obtained the court documents connected to this case today. Michael Van Skoik joins us in the studio now to break down what court records reveal about this devastating investigation. Michael. Debbie and Bob, court records indicate Medina turned herself in at the Lawrence County Jail on Tuesday afternoon, and investigators say she told authorities she had just killed her two children. We want to warn you, some viewers may find details in this story disturbing. Mitchell Police and Lawrence County detectives responded to this home Tuesday, finding two young children dead inside a bathroom. Prior to their arrival, court documents show Brittany Medina walked into the Lawrence County Jail indicating she sent her three-year-old son and one-year-old daughter to heaven. Indiana State Police now lead this investigation, which they say is still ongoing. Our detectives are... Uh I've pledged uh, to see this investigation through and they're going to work very closely with the Lawrence County uh, Prosecutor's Office. Records state Medina used multiple drugs, including Xanax and several lines of cocaine the night before the murders. Investigators say Medina told them she started hearing voices Tuesday afternoon. According to documents, she said the voices told her she and the three children would be tortured until the end of their lives if she didn't send them to heaven that very day. We spoke to the children's grandmother Wednesday night. She had a mental illness. She was sick. It doesn't take away from what she did to the children. She did wrong. She killed my grandkids, but she, she has a mental illness, you know. We just ask for prayers for everybody. Documents go on to say Medina admitted to getting into a bathtub with both children, telling the kids she loved them and giving both a kiss. According to documents, she told investigators she submerged both children simultaneously underneath the water by holding them both around their necks until they no longer had a pulse. When something, uh, something like the death of children uh, occurs, uh, you know, it can it can really rock a community regardless of its size. Sergeant Kevin Getz with ISP says this case has done just that. Mitchell community members say the town is very close knit. It could really uh, uh, shake you to your core because we always think of children as uh, our most part of our most vulnerable in our in our community. Um, they give unconditional love. Medina now faces two murder charges and two charges for neglect of a child causing death. And investigators say the case is still open. Medina is being held in Lawrence County Jail without bond. Meanwhile, the family asked for continued prayers. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, CBS4 News. Michael.